Hello, it's Michael Grant with Applied CAX. Today's tech tip or video will be on how to find your post processor in case you're having issues with uh, your posts and need to send it for support. Beca because there's uh, different directories that these can be stored and also different variables that can control for your environment uh, where what directory they're in, the easiest way to find them will be by following uh, these instructions. So I've got uh, NX opened. Um, in this case I'm using NX10 but this would work the same uh, for uh, all versions of NX. So I'm going to go to menu, help, and then log file. And if this comes up uh, minimized or uh, not full screen I would make it full screen and maximize it. And then I'm going to um, do Control F, and this brings up the find. I'm going to type in post. Uh, mine remembers uh, from the last time I did it, so I already have post in there. And then I'm going to say find next. And now I can hit cancel. So it's highlighted the variable uh, that points NX to the directory. And so in my case, it's uh, on a Google Drive so I'm just going to highlight this line all the way to the end and then uh, control C or you can right click copy. So now that directory is copied and I can go to uh, start and here at the bottom uh, you can just paste that uh, in little search and then hit enter and it brings up the directory. If you already had a window open, you could also paste this address into the top. As soon as you select anywhere in this uh, bar, the address bar, it should select the whole line. And then you would just paste. Uh, Control V or right click paste. So here I am in the directory. If I go back one folder, I'll see that I'm in the uh, resource folder and then post processor. So here's a list of posts. Um, now the next step will be to find the uh, template. So it's a dat file. So it's template underscore post dot dat. Um, you might not have extensions showing. Um, I do recommend having extensions showing. So if you need to, to see extensions, you can go to organize folder and search options and then under view uh, you're going to want to uncheck the hide extensions alright so now um, if you have a notepad or notepad plus um, plus you can right click this file and say open uh, in my case I have notepad plus plus which is a free tool and I highly recommend it it adds a an extension to just open it in notepad plus plus from here so I'll show that um, I'll also show if you don't have notepad you would just go to open uh, mine's my open is set to notepad plus plus so let me try that again I'll say open with um, mine already has a default so I'm going to show you if, if it does pop up and ask you what program to use you'll get a window like this in my case I'm not going to say always because I don't want to switch what it uses um, but you can leave this checked if uh, you want to use the tool that you're selecting every time so I'm going to say plus and it will show me other programs that can open it if you have Simcoe you could open it with that um, notepad that's something that's installed on every Windows or should be um, that's probably what I would recommend if you don't have Notepad++. WordPad or Word can open it, but it can also add characters because it's not a true uh, text editor. And so I, I don't recommend those because they can add uh, hidden character types that can cause uh, failure. So I'll go ahead and show you what it would look like in Notepad. And so, uh, you know, it's readable in Notepad. All right, so I'm going to switch back over to the tool I have. So what you have here is basically a list um, of the posts 
that you currently have available when you go to uh, post a program. Here we use mostly um, SIM kits or uh, G-code simulation, full G-code simulation, and so we don't have a lot of posts in, on this file because when you pull up a SIM kit, it automatically links to the posts. But uh, in your case, you might not have SIM kits, so you'll ha you'll be using primarily this template underscore post dot dat file. So what you have is a list. Um, anything that has a uh, hashtag or pound symbol is basically it's like a comment. It won't show those lines. So while you're in here, if you have uh, you know you don't have a wire EDM or there's certain machine tools you don't have you could you could uh, comment those out so you don't have such a long list of posts but uh, the way each line uh, works is before the comma you have just basically the label that you would see so if I go back to NX and I'll just open a generic manufacturing file So here's that list you can see that we were looking at. It starts with wire EDM. And so those are just the uh, labels that you'll see for the posts. And so you can also modify those if you like. If you need to send your, your post in to have it looked at, um, this line is also telling you the name of the uh, files. So this wire EDM has uh, the dot tickle file and the dot def file. And so if I go to my directory, um, and I'll show you actually for something more normal, let's do the mill three axis. So we'll go in there and we'll look for the mill three ax dot tcl. And here we are here. So you'll see one file. Um, doesn't show up here so you have the TCL and the DEF file the definition file if you send your post in you're going to want to send uh, all the files with mil 3ax and so you have a dot def a dot PUI and a dot TCL the PUI file is the main file that allows you to open it in post builder and so it has um, a lot of information and at the beginning of it it actually has the two files that it uses um, that it points to to open um, if you, this is also helpful if you can't open a post it might be that it was renamed and this has the um, if it's renamed without an open and save as uh, you'll see here you know let's say someone renamed it to uh, mill 3x dash 1. If this doesn't have the dash 1, it's not going to find the files. So either name them, uh, change them back to the original name would probably be the safest, or you could try uh, adding the dash 1 in here. But basically, what I wanted to show in here is uh, how to find your directory and then how to find the files that link to uh, the post that you need to have looked at. So in this case, you would send these three files. You could highlight them and right click, send to compress zip folder, or if you have seven zip, you could uh, send it to a zip folder through that. Um, I'll just say send to compress zip folder. And then it's put all those files into a zip. And so you would email that. I uh, hope you found this helpful. If you need any more information, go to appliedcax.com and uh, you can see support uh, information there or uh, email me directly at uh, mgrant at appliedcax.com. Thank you.